Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and welcome to my channel where I educate people on IoT and web development by showing how to build projects step by step. Today, a quick video about a very useful tool called Prettier that you can add to your JavaScript or TypeScript project that with the use of a Visual Studio Code plugin can auto-format your code as you type it or whenever you save the changes or paste something into the editor uh, and by something, I mean a block of code. All of this, very simple, pretty straightforward to set up. So I guess let's have a look at my computer and I'm gonna show you how to get this done, configure everything and never worry about code formatting again. Okay, right. So here is my Visual Studio Code opened. The first step is going to be adding Prettier to JavaScript project, right? In order to do that, we need a, a project opened here. Um, so yeah, it can be any project. Uh, in my case, for the, for the sake of demonstration, I've got something that I prepared beforehand. It is on my GitHub. Let me just uh, clone it. It's an example JS project. Uh, if you want, you can use that. There is a, this command is in the description of the video, so you can just copy paste it uh, into your command line and run it. However, I'd recommend using an actual JavaScript project, uh, the one that you want to add uh, this auto formatting um, uh, functionality to. Anyway, uh, let me just continue. So um, I cloned it and now I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. So open projects example JS project right just opening it um, and what is what is inside is uh, a very simple uh, a CRAT which is a create read update delete um, user application express application so I've got the express uh, JS uh, setup in here in the index.js and the uh, uh, router with the few uh, endpoints uh, yeah, let me just show you. Yeah, so a few endpoints and also there is a examples directory with another JS file and JSX React component because Prettier can also work with React. Uh, so yeah, th this is all for the demonstration. So I once I set everything up, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how does this work. Uh, Gonna show you this in action. Anyway, let's start from adding Prettier to the to this project, right? It's not there at the moment, uh, so we're going to add it. We need to go to the menu terminal and open a new terminal in Visual Studio Code, and then I'm just going to install it as a npm package, right? As a dev dependency. So npm install minus minus save dev Prettier. You can also find this in the description of the video. Um, okay. So yeah, that's it. This is it. Uh, now we've got the prettier here. But to configure auto formatting, we need first an extra extension in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go to the extensions and look for prettier. An official extension that should be the first result in here. Prettier code formatter by prettier. Make sure it is this one. And what we want to do is to click on install. Okay, right. So that's installed. And the final step to have the auto formatting in the project is to uh, go to code, menu code, preferences, settings. And then we need to look for format. Um, essentially formatter uh, settings, but if you type in format should be enough to get all of these settings. Right. But before I change anything here, let me just quickly talk about these two tabs. So we've got the user tab and workspace. User tab means that uh, whatever you change in here is going to stay with you as a user. So any project that you create as yourself uh, is going to have the settings. Right. So if you change the formatter to prettier at this point, like at this level, this is going to be like a global change. So any project you create with Visual Studio Code, any project you open, a JavaScript project, TypeScript project, or any other kind of project, is going to have Prettier as a default formatter. However, if you switch this to Workspace, then these settings are going to be limited only to this one project that we have opened at the moment, right? So example JS project. 
and that's something I'm gonna do because sometimes I use a different formatter for formatting C++ for my IoT projects. So so yeah, that's that's essentially the reason. But if you want to do it globally, go on and just switch to user and uh, uh, pick the prettier from this uh, drop down. Um, and then uh, we need to tick these checkboxes. So the first one, format on paste. Basically, if you paste a code into the editor and that code is a correct code, it's going to be uh, formatted automatically now because we uh, switch this to, uh, to on, right? We switch it on. Then format on save. So this is for the manual saving. Uh, when I uh, tick this checkbox, and uh, uh, whenever in JavaScript or TypeScript file I uh, press a command plus S on my keyboard or control S on Windows and Linux, then uh, the code is going to be auto formatted. And finally, format on type. This is useful when you use auto save functionality with Visual Studio Code if you don't save manually as I do. Right, so these three options format on type. Um, then format on save and format on paste and make sure the default formatter is prettier. Okay, uh, one more thing that you probably noticed, I've got a new folder here with settings. So these are the, the settings I have just set for this project. That's why this has been created here in Visual Studio Code. Okay, and yeah, this is pretty much it. So uh, I can now demonstrate. I'm just gonna open router maybe and let's add a new endpoint maybe example. So I'm just going to type post slash example. Maybe let's use a single quotes. So slash example. And then let's just do something like uh, arrow function uh, request response. And then in the arrow function, we can actually have some sort of the if statement and let's look for the uh, maybe uh, a body param could be good idea. If there is a body body param ID, then we're going to send 200. Okay. Otherwise, let's do else. This is intentional that I write everything in a single line because I would like to demonstrate what's going to happen when I press command plus S on my uh, on my keyboard. So yeah, else I'm just going to send maybe uh, 400. Okay, so this code is correct, but you see now it's all one line. If I press command plus S, that's gonna be auto formatted, right? So this is how Prettier works, right? If you mess something up like this or this, the moment I press command S, it's all uh, in place. It's it's all uh, it's 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 all how it's supposed to be, right? Uh, and you probably realized slash example is now with a double quotes because these are the default settings, okay? Right. You might ask how to change that, right? So what if we don't want to have uh, double quotes but single quotes as a default for strings uh, and no no non semicolons, right? Uh, let's say yeah, this is the 21st century. We don't want semicolons anymore. We can do that. Let's add a new file in here. That's gonna be the prettier configuration file. It's called prettier RC. If you create it and then add following settings, so semi to false. That means no semicolons. And then sing quote to true. That means yes, we want sing. Uh, we want uh, uh, single quotes instead of double quotes. Finally, uh, another option I, I would like to demonstrate is a tab with. So this is for the for the uh, indentations for tabulation. Uh, actually, it, it's it works like straight away. So now you see that changed. Now we have four spaces in here. When I go back to router and I just simply press command S everything is now different, right? I mean, we have a single quotes, no semicolons, and we've got four spaces for the indentation. Okay, that also is going to work for the JSX. Uh, also TSX, right, TypeScript. Uh, the moment I just uh, press Command S, everything is now as it's supposed to be. And also, if I just go here and try to mess anything up, 
like that, maybe like that. Again, the moment I press Command S, we have everything nicely formatted. So yeah, this is how um, this is how uh, Prettier works. Uh, maybe one uh, one additional example. I've got a code from Stack Overflow. Let me just copy this. Right, this is not formatted. When I paste it in, uh, uh, hang on. Uh, let me just remove all the content from here. Yeah. So when I paste it in, this is immediately in the right format. Right. So all the indentations um, and no semicolons at the ends, uh, even though there were semicolons here. Right. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, it's the, the default tool I always use. It's a part of my developer toolbox. Whenever I set up a new project, I always uh, look for the code formatter, right? Depending on the language. If it's JavaScript or TypeScript, it's obviously prettier. Okay. And this is it for today. Thanks for watching. If you find my content useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will stay up to date with any new videos. Cheers and bye.